Imagine you are a parent wondering if your child has autism or not, and you don't have the knowledge or skill to tell, um, but you have that question in your, in your mind for a long time. Traditionally, autism is diagnosed by a multidisciplinary team. Often it includes a pediatrician, developmental psychologist, a speech-language pathologist. So it takes a lot of time. And we can reliably diagnose autism at 18 months of age, but because of the weight, the average age of diagnosis in the U.S. is about four and a half. Our goal is to offer an alternative and innovative way of screening for autism in children. If we can design a screening tool that can identify children early on, the early intervention can be really helpful in improving the quality of life of children as well as the families. Almost 88% of autistic kids show differences in their balance and coordination, which are both essential for walking. As it turns out, walking gait is a really great way to screen for autism because it doesn't matter if you're a girl, it doesn't matter if you're a boy, it doesn't matter what languages you speak or if you're even speaking. Um, every kid who's walking can participate in this screening. And another innovative aspect of this research is that we use um, the 2D video of a child walking, which is a video that's recorded by a phone or tablet or a camera. The majority of families have a smartphone or a tablet at home. So our hope was, could the families use what they have, um, record their child walking, uh, upload that video to our web app, we are able to identify a open source software that does posture modeling and video analysis so that we can extract numerically the walking gait data from those videos. Then it will be transmitted to NIU's Metis high performance computing cluster for analysis. And we run another machine learning model to make the prediction. And it, that's actually uh, where the uh, screening happens. If they do walk, as an autistic child might walk, then you want to pursue seeking a formal diagnosis. And our preliminary data are incredibly accurate. We're well above the 80% accuracy that most screening tools require. I think we are a really good group of not only students, but also professors that are all very passionate about um, their fields. I think it's amazing that all of these different disciplines can come together and work towards one end goal. Students are essential to this project. We have students studying speech-language pathology, we have students studying physical therapy, we have students studying engineering, computer science, and so it's great because they all get to work together and everyone's expertise <laughs> is essential. So currently we have collected the data in the lab, we have developed the uh, machine learning models and algorithms, we have a prototype of the website. So next steps are to enhance our models. We want users in their homes and schools and clinics to try this app to help us improve um, the accuracy and quality of this tool. This is the start of something that's very promising and potentially can change people's lives uh, for better for my children and for our next generation, for them to live a better life and live in a better world.